Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. On the last video, I downloaded and installed the new firmware for the Prusa XL input shaping. I sliced a file that normally would take me about 32 hours. With input shaping, it brings it down to 22 hours. So I have this printing and I was super hopeful that it would work out. This print is a custom request for a garage room box. It's eight inches wide a little over nine inches tall and 12 and a half inches deep. So with it printing on its back, it will be super tall. But at just three hours in, it looks so bad that I stop it. I had seen it was a little rough as it was printing the back, but I was hoping once it got past that infill that it would smooth out, but it just kept looking worse. You can see already that the corners are flipped up. I always expect to have a pretty heavy push -a line along the back, but this looks like the top layers on the back pushed out past the walls. I don't think I've ever seen the corners curl up that bad. It's really consistent in all four corners. I had turned the air conditioning off, so there is not a breeze. The room is pretty warm, so I don't think this is from a draft. And in addition to the curled corners and heavy line, the walls just look rough. They're consistently rough, but I don't like it. And the more I look, the more I find that looks bad. The top layer on the back wall is very wavy. Um, I'm not sure if that's a warping issue or what, since the first layer had looked almost too far from the bed. And of course, since I removed it while hot, it's warping as it cools. So I jump back in Prusa Slicer and switch my settings to the one I have used before. It's just regular 0.6 nozzle without input shaping. It has worked for me before with 0.32 layer height on the quality setting. I'm not excited to wait 32 hours for this print when I thought I would be done in 22, but this customer has purchased another room box from me before, and I felt that pattern the input shaping was leaving would be too obvious. I watched this print carefully the corners lift a tiny bit, but it's not too bad. Also, this print will take over a roll of filament. I do catch it in time, and I'm glad because I have my filament sensor turned off from it, triggering too much. The print is done. I knew this was going to be a deep room box, but it looks a little more oddly shaped than I was expecting. I don't see a line from where I changed filament. I do see banding that gets worse as the print moved up, but it's pretty consistent. All the walls look the same. I don't see that one side is rougher than the others. And at the bottom, the Prusa line is very visible where the back ends. It would be nice if this wasn't there, but I've never been able to get rid of it on these large square prints. It's at least pretty smooth along the first layer and doesn't have those curved edges like the input shaping had. I think this will work. I did have some questions on my last video about a couple of different profiles. So you saw that I had started with the input shaping profile with the default setting of 0.32 speed. This one would take around 22 hours. If I switch to the 0.32 structure profile, it changes it to 26 and a half hours. And then if I get out of input shaping and slice it at 0.32 speed, it would take just under 26 hours. And then last was the setting I used on the one that worked. This one was the 0.32 quality that took 32 hours. I do have some more large room boxes I wanna make. Which would you try next? Have you had any luck with input shaping on the XL? Thanks for watching.